So both in the hours leading up to my national security class that started at 12.20 p.m. and both in the hours afterwards, I worked on four new styrofoam drawings today using essentially these markers for all of them. The pens were used for me to take notes, which, uh, for, which for today started around here and ended here. And I primarily worked on my week eight assignment for my African politics class. In the hours after my national security class. Here is what I what I wrote for the week eight assignment for the two questions. This is what I came up with. And I also attended, at, starting at 4 p.m., a Microsoft Teams hosted session that included a PowerPoint discussing what fascism is, that the speaker for which was Dr. French, the same person who does our national security class. And basically there are seven tenets of fascism, which I didn't write down from off of the PowerPoint. I asked a question, at the end of this roughly 10 minute presentation, and essentially, to what extent current events can be blamed on, or attributed to, fascism. Eh, as he said at the start, the very start of the presentation, essentially saying that there are concerns that fascism is making a comeback. due to a rise of right-wing ideologies. And while that has been an occurrence, you generally don't see groups today that practice fascism to the extent that it was practiced under Italy, under Mussolini, or Germany under Adolf. Because, yeah, as was said in the presentation, there is an element of a sort of ethnic supremacy. There's also a preference for 
specific gender roles. Men are the spear or sword. A woman are the womb. That comes directly from that brief presentation, which is merely meant to brief to briefly explain what fascism is. And it's a good thing that we don't see true fascism these days because it, those systems resulted in a great deal of human rights abuses. Uh, there was also at the end of the presentation and then after the Q&A session a Kahoot game in which I gave myself the nickname Star Student. I tried my best on all the questions. So that my username would appear onto the game screen. Well, there was one point in which I made it to sixth place. At least one, but I never hit the fifth place mark in which my nickname would have been visible on the in-game progress leaderboard that shows the top five after each question. The majority of them were true-false questions, in which there were just two answers, but there were some quiz questions that had three or four possible answers to pick from. And I read the question before it revealed the answers, because... How many points you get is not only determined based off of whether you get the right answer or not, and also how many you get right in a row, but also by how quickly you answer. So you're encouraged to pick an answer very quickly. And that's generally what I did. I got a lot of the questions right. Just based off of remembering what was discussed during the presentation. There were a total of 28 questions. How is it, Ty? Delicious. <laughs> when I first got up today, which I think may have been at 5 in the morning, or I think 5.40 in the morning, I remember... After a bit of time, Dad making me some coffee, and I had some Singapore. 
I also had Singapore along with two packets of duck sauce and two fortune cookies. At around 11.40, I would say. 11.40 in the morning. That's also around the time I moved in to, excuse me, Dad's room here. Uh, since I have my natural security class at 12.20 a.m., but there's an unofficial time of noon... Because that's the time that Dr. French has often played a YouTube clip that has to do with whatever subject we're talking about. But that didn't happen this time around. Uh, these are the fortunes I got from those two fortune cookies I ate. And I also had more Singapore at around 5 to 6 p.m. after Dad got back home from work. It's currently around 9. Actually, it's closer to 10 p.m. at 9.48 p.m. You want some fruit? Oh, yes, please. Hmm. At around uh, 7, I was afraid I was going to fall asleep and end up missing the pizza. Essentially have no video for today. I did some work on the 99th Dan Hamming. As a matter of fact, the thought of working on the 99th Dan Hamming is ultimately what motivated me to make all those new styrofoams. Though none of the four are exactly what I had in mind. There you go, buddy. Might not taste so good, but it's still it's fruit. You drank all the juice. I had to put regular water in it so it didn't dry out. Oh, regular water? Yeah. Yeah, well, all, all of the juice came out. Well, is it all right? Yeah, it's fine. Right. Do you want I to take another one? You want more? Do you want to take a look at my city in Elvenar? Yeah, don't film me though. Oh, okay. That is awesome. Show the whole thing. Can I see the whole thing? Bigger? Oh, uh, you're expanding, huh? Well, yeah, I need room for these dwarven cultural buildings. Nice. And uh, also for the dwarven ancient wonders. Nice. Yeah, I've got uh, plenty of population. I try to make a city where each building tries to be unique, a city with variety. Right. Diverse. Uh, yeah. Where's your main castle? Where's that? I don't see it's it. It's right here. Oh, is that a big thing? Is this a different one? Uh, no, it's the same one I've shown you each time. Huh. Nice. Uh, what's your favorite part of the city? I like that checkerboard thing. You mean that uh, chess set? Yes, I mean the chess set. Yeah, the magical chess set. It's nice. Yeah. Uh, this is the Wood Elven Float. Uh, this is the Yeti Hot Spring. Though there's... Now how do you get all that stuff? Uh, you basically uh, p p play the game. I mean, every now and then you unlock cultural building... Uh, the pieces to the magical chess set you get from the Magic Academy through crafting. Uh, I've got a uh, seventy. You've been playing this months. Yeah, years? months. I've been playing this for months. <laughs> nice. And you started with one building, and you made all that. Uh, yeah, I essentially started with that main hall. It looking a whole lot smaller. 
I could uh, make an account for you if you would like. Uh, I'm good, Tyler. I'll watch. I'll watch you. Okay. <laughs> You're the best. Love you. I had my weekly Senate meeting for Friday at 5.05 p.m. Yeah, the slight lateness being partially explained by me attending that What is Fascism presentation that was started at 4 p.m. again. And also because... Uh, I wasn't sent the Zoom link for the online Senate meeting this time around. So I had to search it on my student account, student email account. I have no idea if there's a more efficient way to place all of these buildings. I mean, I recently finished an upgrade on this Needles of the Tempest, which reduced my the time it takes for me to train a set of 57... Elite archers from 19 minutes exactly to 18 minutes and 29 seconds. A reduction of 31 seconds. Um, at some point today, I think it was around noon, I think or maybe 1 p.m., I heard about a car ramming that took place near the U.S. Capitol, which I found to be quite alarming. Since every now and then I think about how how close we could have come to ending up exactly like M Myanmar. I think I pronounced that correctly. Ended up with the military coup. You know, there's a parallel to Myanmar and us in that both disputed the results of the election. But in our case, a coup did not happen because it wasn't the military who attempted it in our case. Hey, here's hoping that the people of Myanmar are able to overcome this setback and are able to eventually establish a true democracy, not only in Myanmar, but also in Hong Kong. And hopefully the people of Ukraine are able to maintain their sovereignty. I've heard reports of there being a a buildup of military forces between the border and the border between Ukraine and Russia. I have no idea on why the separatists in Dontesk and uh, this one's harder to pronounce for me because I remember it less, L L Lunavik, Lunstick, I know it starts with an L, but for the rest, it's foggy. 
uh, would want to uh, separate from the Ukrainian government. led to a conflict that started in 2014. I believe I was in high school then, maybe starting my freshman year. I'm not entirely sure at this point. And that still continues to this day and recently saw a flare-up in the fighting in the lead up to, again, this buildup of military forces along the border. Some alarming things happen sometimes. But the important thing is to try to observe it, and if necessary, to think about how you're best going to better the situation. Yeah, there's a new daily exclusive building, yeah, but I currently don't have even... Sky Essence to buy and have even one attempt at it, but I know I will at some point. And I just ended up getting stuck with this task set that required me to produce baskets of groceries, which thankfully is the longest supply production period you'll be asked to produce. Because I think the next longest one is the very longest one, and that one's the whole day. And that one's the toolbox one. I only have uh, roughly 13 more minutes for the baskets of groceries. And then hopefully I'll be, the next test sets will be relatively easy. Uh, this is where I'm at in terms of the research. I'm saving this in case I need to activate a technology as part of my next task, task set. Uh, though I'm definitely nearing the point in which I need to start thinking about the ferry settlement. If I haven't reached that point already, which I may very well have. At some point today, I did a bunch of catering to tournament provinces, which is probably what you'll end up having to do if you get to those higher tournament province levels and with higher stars meaning you've beaten them more times <sighs> I was going to upgrade the scrolls manufactory again but it seems I kind of forgot about it For the weekly Senate meetings, I always make a Senate report when that period rolls around, but honestly, for the Senate reports, I find it difficult to uh, come up with anything to say for that particular week. I've fallen behind on 
my homework for Intermediate Spanish 2 again. Because uh, when it was due on Thursday, later into the hours, I felt tired and ended up going to bed. Thursday was the day Dad picked me up, because on Thursday I had an in-person Intermediate Spanish 2 class. I was supposed to uh, make a record a video. I'm supposed to make a video of me talking about my second tug abroad conversation, but for me, that requires me to make a script of what I'm going to say, which requires a rather painstaking process of looking up each word I want to use in word reference. So I know what to write down in Spanish. You know, I'm supposed to speak. I speak in Spanish for these reflections. This is essentially going to be flavored water. It ended up being pretty close to the juice that surrounds the fruit, the original juice that surrounds the f those containers of fruit. Either that or I may have just simply f have forgotten about. What the original juice tasted like, <sighs> if anything, it was sweeter. But uh, that water still ended up being pretty good. I worked on the four new styrofoams from early morning to late afternoon, I would say. And by that point, at 5 p.m., when I had already submitted my weekly assignment for my African politics class... Because I tend to stop working on them um, at when my weekly Senate meeting starts because I have to ha turn it in by 6 p.m. or else the Dropbox closes. And it, it, it's probably difficult to think of anything new to write when you're in the middle of the Senate meeting through Zoom, but by that point, thankfully, I always seem to have a completed product of the question of my answers to the questions for each weekly assignment, and I'm grateful for that. And I've, I'm now caught up with my responsibilities for my African politics class. <laughs>